Today we are going to explore a topic that is essential for anyone practicing aesthetic medicine, especially those working with male patients. The topic is called aging in the male face, intrinsic and extrinsic factors. This topic is based on a research led by Dr. Terence C. Keeney, uh, provides a comprehensive look at how internal and external factors contribute to the aging process in men. By understanding these differences, we can refine our treatments to meet the unique needs of male patients. Let's dive into the research. To, see the, to set the stage, it's important to recognize that uh, gender significantly influences facial anatomy and behavior, both of which play uh, key roles in the aging process. Today, we'll be reviewing how male facial anatomy, physiology, and behavior uh, contribute to sexual dimorphism in aging. Dr. Keeney's research involved a comprehensive review of literature using Medline to explore these gender differences in facial anatomy, cutan cutaneous physiology, and behavior. Aging is influenced by two main categories of factors, intrinsic factors and extrinsic factors. Intrinsic aging includes uh, changes due to genetics, hormones, and uh, biochemical processes that happen naturally over time. And also extrinsic factors such as smoking, sun exposure, and environmental influences accelerate the aging process at the same time. These extrinsic factors can cause epidermal dysplasia and degradation of elastic fibers and collagen. Together, intrinsic and extrinsic factors result in clinic clinical signs of aging, such as wrinkles, volume loss, and changes to skin texture. One of the most critical intrinsic factors is the role of sex hormones. As men age, they experience a gradual decline in testosterone, about 1% per year, starting at the age of 30. This slow uh, decline affects various aspects of male physiology, including muscle mass, skin health, and even sexual function. Unlike women who experience a rapid drop in estrogen levels after menopause, men don't have a comparable a hormonal shift. However, the reduction in testosterone has wide-ranging effects from decreasing skin elasticity to changes in body composition, intellect, and libido. Another significant intrinsic factor is cutaneous physiology or how the skin itself ages. Men gradually have thicker skin than women, a feature that persists across all age groups. However, the thickness of male skin decreases linearly with age, while women experience a more abrupt, abrupt thinning of the, of the skin after menopause. The ability of skin to metabolize and react to sex hormones plays a key role here, contributing to sexual dimorphism in cutaneous aging. When we talk about aging, we cannot ignore the role of oxidative stress. Oxidative stress results from excess free radicals, reactive oxygen species or ROS, which are generated through cellular metabolism and environmental exposure to UV radiation and pollution. Interestingly, men are more susceptible to oxidative stress than women because they have lower level of protective antioxidants. Estrogen in women boosts um, ant antioxidant enzyme produ production, offering greater protection against free radical damages. In contrast, male mito mitochondria uh, have lower antioxidant enzyme activity, which means men have less ability to fight oxidative damages, accept this alone accept, accelerating the aging process. Now let's, uh, now let's take a closer look at the differences in facial anatomy. The male skull is 
typically larger with more pronounced features such as a prominent bra ridge, uh, a larger chin, and also greater glabellar projection. These skeletal differences shape the overall appearance of the male face and contribute uh, to the aging process. Men also have more muscle mass, which results in more facial movement and a different pattern of aging-related wrinkles. Lastly, fat distribution in men is also different. Men have thinner subcutaneous fat layers and a more angular face structure, leading to uh, less soft tissue in the cheeks and a flatter uh, appearance. Now let's uh, shift to extrinsic factors, uh, which are largely um, shaped uh, by lifestyle and environment. Men tend to engage in more risky behaviors, such as smoking and underutilizing preventive healthcare, including dermatology services. These behaviors, combined with higher exposure to environmental elements like UV light, accelerate facial aging. The two most significant extrinsic factors for male facial aging are smoking and UV exposure. Smoking is one of the most uh, important behaviors for the skin, um, skin aging. It reduces blood flow to the skin, depriving it of oxygen and nutrients. This leads to fewer collagen and elastin fibers in the dermis, resulting in decreased skin elasticity and increased wrinkling. There is a clear dose-response relationship between smoking and wrinkle formation. The more a man smokes, the more pronounced um, his facial wrinkles will be. Notably, smoking has, uh, has been shown to cause more wrinkles than sun exposure. And men are more likely to smoke than women, which, excess, which this alone exacerbates the aging process. Speaking of IV exposure, ultraviolet light is another powerful contributor to extrinsic aging. Exposure to UV radiation accelerates the breakdown of collagen and other dermal structures, which accounts for up to 90% of visible aging signs. Men, especially those uh, who work in outdoor occupations, are more likely to be exposed to UV light and less likely to adopt sun protective behaviors such as using sunscreen. This gender disparity in UV exposure leads to faster and more severe aging in men. Wrinkles are one of the most recognizable signs of aging. They form due to repeated muscle contractions, oxidative stress, and UV damage. Men tend to develop uh, deeper and more pronounced wrinkles, uh, particularly on the forehead and, uh, and uh, 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 in this area, uh, which, which typically earlier than women gets developed. This partly due to differences in facial muscle structure and exposure patterns. The wrinkle patterns in men also differ, with men showing a U pattern in the glabella and a downward fan pattern around the crossfit. Another hallmark of uh, facial aging is volume loss, which results from a combination of craniofacial remodeling and fat atrophy. As men age, they experience a steady reduction in facial volume across all regions, unlike women who see a sharp decline in volume after menopause, men's volume loss is more gradual. The loss of bone mass and soft tissue in the male face leads to the development of jaws, uh, hollowing of the temples and deepened nasolabial folds. The eyes are also a key area where aging is particularly visible. Periocular aging in men includes changes like increased lower eyelid laxity and fat redistribution, leading to more pronounced under eye bags and hollowing. MRI studies have shown that men experience more fat loss in the infraorbital area, which exacerbates the appearance of tired eyes. 
Interestingly, men are less prone to mild upper eyelid sagging, but more likely to suffer from severe sagging. Hair loss is another significant aspect of aging for men. Hair is often associated with youth, vitality and attractiveness and losing it can have a profound physiological impact. By age of 50, about 50% of men will experience androgenic alopecia, commonly known as male pattern baldness. Studies show that hair loss significantly affects uh, confidence, especially in social interactions. Given the cultural and emphasis on youth and appearance, treatments for hair restoration are becoming increasingly important in aesthetic medicine. In conclusion, male facial aging is the result of a complex interplay between intrinsic factors like hormones, skin physiology, and oxidative stress, and also extrinsic factors such as smoking and sun exposure. Gender differences in anatomy and behavior mean that men experience aging in unique ways. Understanding these differences allows us to tailor our treatments and interventions to help men maintain a youthful appearance for as long as possible. There is still much to learn and future research will continue to inform the development of innovative anti-aging treatments for men.